Hello everyone. So for this presentation, I will only use one slide to tell you the facts and opinions that I have about this. So we will use this slide only. Let's begin. Please look at these numbers. Do you know these numbers? Is it your performance scores in mathematics? <laughs> no. These are birth rates. So you see that Cambodia has 2.34, Korea has 0 0.81, Japan has 1.31, and the Philippines has 2.75. So if the number is 2, one family has two kids. Can you guess what it means? That's right. There is no change in population. But look at this. In case of South Korea, it's only 0 0.81. That means that in three families, there are only two children. In a hundred years, their population will become less than one-third of the day. While in Cambodia or the Philippines, these developing countries have good birth rates of more than two. But can we say that we are happy? Well, in the Philippines, yes, we have a high birth rate. But what is the key point of the future? Yes, it's education. Growing population supports manpower in the industry of a country. For example, if they are good at handling computers and technology, in a company, they get a good profit for society. Well, I think giving students a good quality education is a must. But here, the situation is bad. So we have to strengthen the education system by using ICT. The end. So now, I will give you a tip for this presentation sample. So again, you can see here in the first slide that this slide is only used in presentation. But the slides from 2, 3, 4, these are just your speech script. It's either in your paper like a guide or they're in your mind because you have memorized them. So all throughout the presentation, it's only one slide. And these are just your speech scripts. So again, don't forget the first part is we have facts. So your friends should be able to understand what you want to say. How? It's easy. Just try to change it and make the facts easier to understand for them. And the second part is your opinion. You just have to show your own feelings and expectations about these. Hello, everyone. So for this presentation, I will only use this slide that you see but i will say the facts about these and my own opinion let's begin please look at these numbers so do you know these numbers is it your performance scores in mathematics no these are birth rates. 
So you can see Cambodia has 2.34, Korea has 0 0.81, Japan has 1.31, and the Philippines has 2.75. So if the number is 2, one family has two kids. Can you guess what it means? Yes, you're right. No change in population. But, oh, look. Look at South Korea. In South Korea's case, it's only 0 0.81. That means three families only have two children. In a hundred years, their population will become less than one-third of the day. In Cambodia or the Philippines, developing countries have good birth rates here. Good birth rates, 234 and 275. But can we say that we are happy? Well, in the Philippines, we have a high birth rate. What is the key point of the future? Yeah, it's education. So, growing population supports manpower in the industry of a country. If they are good at handling computer and technology, that means that company gets a good profit for the society. Well, I think that giving students a good quality education is a must. But here in the Philippines, the situation is bad. So we have to strengthen the education system by using ICT. That's the end. Now, I will give you some tips about the presentation I made. And, and lastly here, I hope you will read with me. You are not an announcer, but a presenter. Try to build rapport with your audience. Don't forget to smile and good luck. Bye.